Hi, I'm Mary, and this is Lady Electric. Today we're going to be looking at how to solder connections to your 7-seg. I have the serial 7-seg display from SparkFun. Up here we have some connections that shouldn't give us any trouble. I recommend doing these first because they are easy to access. Over here we have some connections that might be a little more tricky. They're actually covered up by the display. I'm going to be attaching some pins so that I can use this with a breadboard. I'm aligning the short ends of the pins with the connections I need. Okay, let's do some soldering. If you've never soldered before, it helps to heat the component before you add the solder. We're looking for a joint that's shiny and strong. It's important that these joints stay separate. Don't add so much solder that you accidentally bridge two connections. Now that the easy part's done, let's take a look at the side connections. Anything we attach to these will have to be soldered from the bottom. This time, I'm going to line the long ends of the pins with the connections I need. This will give me some room to get in there with the soldering iron. This technique is helpful while soldering, but when you try to plug this into a breadboard, you'll find the short ends of the pins are not quite long enough to make a connection. But that's okay. We simply need to slide the divider down to add some length to the pin. Sometimes it does take a little bit of force, and there we go. I'm going to add one more pin. This little guy is my ground pin. I really need him. His connection is directly over the leg of the display, so any pin you put here might end up a little out of whack. But you can simply bend the pins a little to force them into a straight line. And actually, forcing it into a breadboard can sort of help straighten things out. And he fits. Cool. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to subscribe and leave any comments below. Once again, I'm Mary, and this is Lady Electric.